Hi everyone. Today we're going to be playing a game called Okami. Uh, this is a critically acclaimed game by Capcom. Apparently it's long forgotten and the sales weren't that great, but apparently this is a precious gem to gaming. So I'm very excited to play this today. Uh, this will be part one, possibly of a multi-part series. The story is apparently very long, but I'm a sucker for stories, so I'm very excited for this. I have no idea what this game's about. Let's get right into it. I guess I'll narrate it. Long, long ago. A tiny hamlet known as Kamiki lay nestled in a grove of proud, of proud and beautiful cherry blossoms. Each and every tree around the quiet burg was honored as a god. Each and every tree. However, the village was not without its dark secrets. To satiate the appetite of Orochi, a fearsome cave-dwelling beast, a young maiden was offered as a sacrifice at the annual festival. With a body like a mountain, and eight heads mounted on necks the size of tree trunks. Its blood-red eyes alone were said to curse. Anyone who gazed into them, no one dared disobey the horrific beast. When the night of the sacrifice drew near, a mysterious white wolf appeared outside the village. This wolf, its coat as brilliant as snow, was dubbed Shirenui. The wolf kept a watchful eye on anyone who ventured outside the village and made a habit of patrolling the streets at night. People assumed the wolf to be a familiar of Orochi. One villager took it upon himself to face the fearsome Shiranui. The warrior Nagi attempted many times to challenge the wolf. But his attempts were thwarted by Shiranui's swift movements. Before long, the night of the accursed festival had arrived. A white plumed arrow heralded the coming sacrifice. Piercing the sky, the arrow sunk its shaft squarely into... The home of Nami, the village's most beautiful maiden. Nagi, harboring a secret love for Nami, was enraged by this sign. Determined to put an end to Orochi once and for all. Nagi traveled to the beast's cave in place of his beloved. The Moon Cave, a place as dark as evil itself, served as Orochi's home. 
as Nagi stood bravely before the entrance. A beast appeared, eyes glowing, crimson, upon eight thrashing necks. Orochi stood tall before him, anxious for another sacrifice. Nagi leapt with incredible grace, swinging his blade valiantly. On and on he sliced well into the moonless night. But Orochi's hide was like steel. The blade left nary a scratch. At long last, Nagi, his energy spent from the intense battle, dropped to his knees, fatigued and gasping for breath. He knew he was staring death in the face. It was then that the wolf appeared. As if to protect Nagi, it stood its ground before Orochi. In the darkness of the cave, the wolf's coat shone brilliantly. Alas, it was Shiranui, the wolf that dwelled outside the village. Bearing its fearsome claws, Shiranui leapt toward Orochi. Orochi reared its terrifying heads, readying its fangs for battle. The two beasts struggled wildly, thrashing in the darkness. Mysterious and terrifying, the spectacle continued. Shiranui summoned gusts of divine wind to counter Orochi's flames. As Orochi closed in on Shiranui, sharpened claws glistening. A gigantic tree suddenly sprouted forth, shielding the wolf. Shiranui fought gallantly to gain the upper hand. However, Orochi, protected by a mystical power, was not easily best. Shiranui, covered in gashes, majestic coat dyed crimson, stood exhausted before the mighty Orochi. Orochi saw a chance to strike what would be the final blow. But Shiranui refused to give in. With its last ounce of strength, the majestic wolf gazed heavenward and unleashed a mighty howl. Suddenly, the black clouds overhead dissipated. The light from above glinted off Nagi's sword as a beacon of hope. Guided by his sword, Nagi, who had been taking shelter in the shadows, stood proud to face his adversaries. Channeling all his strength into his scarred and battered arms. He leapt ferociously toward Orochi, his sword poised high. The golden sword danced in his hands like a puppet on, on a string. One by one, Orochi's fearsome heads separated from their owner.
Orochi's broken body collapsed in a lake of its own blood. In that instant, the curse that plagued the villagers was lifted. As the battle subsided, the sun shone once again in the sky. Shiranui had succumbed to Orochi's poison and struggled to breathe. Nagi scooped the beast into his arms and returned to Kamaki. When they reached the village, Shiranui was no longer moving. The village elder gently stroked the wolf's head. In response, Shiranui let out a hoarse and pitiful bark, then closed its eyes and drifted off as if into slumber. Peace had at last returned to Kamaki Village. In honor of Shiranui's heroic exploits, the villagers erected a shrine and placed a statue of the wolf within it. Nagi's sword was christened Tsukiyomi and placed inside the moon cave. The villagers all looked forward to an age of endless peace. Game over. We, we win. <laughs> However, this is not the end of the story. <laughs> There is more to this tale than most people know. One hundred years had passed since Nagi and Shiranui's heroic exploits. It happened so quickly that no one in the village even took notice. Is this the legendary sword? Is this Tsukuyomi the sword that banished the dreaded Orochi? No, it couldn't be. It's just a legend, nothing but a fairy tale. Hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man, hey, man. 
A horrible tragedy suddenly swept over the land. However, there was one village that seemed to escape the terrible curse. The tiny settlement of Kaneki village enjoyed the protection of a sacred tree. It is here that the real story begins. Wood Sprite Sakuya. How troublesome. This is just like the ancient prophecy of doom. What has transpired to bring about such calamity? We must act quickly. There is no time to lose. My power has diminished over the years I've spent protecting this area. I don't have much time left in this world. Amaterasu, now is the time. We have never needed your power more. Shine your divine light upon this broken and polluted world. Let your heavenly rays become our hope as you guide us all. Shiranui. Or no, never mind. Okami. Are they related? <laughs> such divine white light, such beauty and grace. The only one capable of such a wondrous spectacle is none other than our mother and the origin of all that is Amaterasu. How delightful to see that the savior whose brave sacrifice sealed The way the de evil demons so many years ago has not changed one bit. Oh, so it is sure new. Seeing you emerge after so many years spent as a statue brings happiness to my heart. Sniff. <laughs> Sniff. Amaterasu. Above you and gaze above you and take in the condition of the sky. Since your untimely departure from our midst, the world has succumbed to devious and vicious beasts. They have ravaged our fine and bountiful country of Nippon. <laughs> Is that did I pronounce that right? But never have the circumstances been worse. Nippon! Than they are at this very moment. Please use your powers to banish darkness and punish those who would do us harm. Hmm? What is this? Has something stolen its way into my robe? Oh, 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 he, he, he. <laughs> what is going on? Oh, God, what is that? <laughs> Whoa, that was... I don't know if I could show that on YouTube. Whoa. Wait, what on earth? You again. How about what you Boy, for such a little thing, you sure make a big fuss. I was just trying to make the conversation a bit more. 
Interesting. That's all. Are you napping in my clothes again, bug? Bug, I told you a thousand times not to call me that. I'm a wandering artist. The name's Ishin. Wandering artist Ishin. I'll show you just how great I am, and it won't be long till you're bowing before my great brush. Well, what do you think? Even cuter than the real thing, no? What's with you, furball? You look kinda down in the dumps. Actually, you look kinda familiar. Got it. You look just like that statue of. Sh oh, it's not Shiranui? Oh. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You crazy? <laughs> Some guy like me should never be covered in wolf slobber. You'll regret messing with the great Ishin. Don't make me use my prize sword Denkamaru against you. <laughs> Well, what's that growling sound? And why is it so dark anyway? Oh great god, a Matarasu. Use all the power I have to protect Kamaki Village. The village lives on. Their spirits lie encased in my fruit. Cut it free and the village will be reborn. I trust in you. I know that you will lead us down the right path. Only your awesome power can restore life to the world. The trees return to normal, huh? That Sakia girl sure said some weird stuff. The villager spirits are being kept inside the fruit. That's the fruit. That girl said that. If you cut it down, the village will be restored. But it's awfully high up there. If you don't use some kind of special power, there's no way you're gonna reach it. This darkness is really getting to me too. A lot can happen while you're taking a nap. We're in. Oh, what is happening? I really like the artwork. So this game apparently was inspired uh, by Twilight Princess, I think. And uh, it seems like uh, like they were inspired by Okami too, with uh, like Wind Waker and um, Breath of the Wild. Like the art's very similar now. Isn't it? A lot of companies are opting for the. Uh, this sort of cartoony look. It looks nice. It, it's, uh, it's really nice. I don't remember any place like this in the village. Well, we better keep our eyes peeled. You can use the right stick to look around. Left bumper changes your point of view. Boy, you really look so helpless. You sure you're gonna be okay? Okay, so I can look around. Ooh. 
<laughs> what's what's the matter, boy? Huh? Oh. Oh. You can just spam bark <laughs> Oh my gosh. Why do you need that? Hold on. That's an origin mirror. They say once your reflection appears on its surface, <laughs> memories will be stored in the mirror. So this was like a safe station. <laughs> That's cool. I'm gonna give you a little advice. You should save a number of game files. That way you can go, always go back if you get stuck or something. Gotta be prepared, especially while you're still learning the ropes. Okay. You should save multiple files, huh? Okay. Look at all those pots just waiting to be broken. If you bust them, there might be something good inside. Press X to bust them with your head. Alright. Bust them! Oh, I missed it. Way to go, my furry friend. You can do that anytime you see something you can break. We're rich. Oops. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on there, furball. Get a load of that. That chest looks mighty tempting. Let's go check it out. Getting up that high ought to be a piece of cake. Press A to jump. Oh, uh, wall jump. Make sure you press it firmly so you jump really high. Okay. Oh. I knew you could do it. They say good luck is found in high places. So keep your eyes peeled. You don't want to miss any treasure. Got it. Holy bone. Maybe we should put that back. <laughs> You don't want to just take holy bones from places. Come on, man. <laughs> Looks like the bridge is out. This shouldn't be so hard. Um, Amaterasu, was it? <laughs> Isn't that like a... Like some sort of Genjutsu spell in Naruto, right? Amaterasu. <laughs> it's kinda long. Mind if I call you Ami? Why don't you... Oh, okay. Listen, Ami. Ever heard of the Spirits of the Brush? Good brushwork has its own soul, at least that's what they say. Just watch it. It'd take all day to explain. A picture is worth a thousand words, right? Nice, huh? You're not, 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 you're not,
Just a little technique I've mastered called rejuvenation. It's one of many brush techniques that use divine power. It's a brush god power that can restore broken or missing things. I've practiced really hard just to master this one technique. But there are 13. Each one is a power of one of the 13 brush gods. Originally, all 13 were single powerful deities. When the deity died, its power was split into 13 separate gods. The gods now dwell within objects all around us. But god or no god, how could anyone have the power to master all 13? River of the Heavens. River of the Heavens? They mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. <laughs> Couldn't be that little puddle over there, could it? River of the Heavens. River of the Heavens? They mean the fabled Stardust River? But I sure don't see anything like that around here. It couldn't be that little po- Oh, it already said that. It's up here. Wow, look at it. the stars twinkle. I haven't seen such a beautiful nighttime sky in ages. Hey look, are those stars forming a pattern or is it just me? Alright, that's kind of a stretch. <laughs> Doesn't look exactly like a dragon, but... Guess I'll just have to draw the missing star. Looks like I'm just not ready to draw missing stars. Hold the brush and X to draw. I sure spent a heck of a lot of time practicing that. What? What? <laughs> oh gosh, you guys. Um, it is hard to draw on a controller. What? So what, just the star or what? What are you talking about? Is this it? <laughs> what? What do I do? I did that. Look. Look, I'm on it. What do you want? You mean the stars? Just do the stars? Like that? Oh, maybe you... Oh, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> I 
All right, look. Boom, pro gameplay. Now what? Oh. Wait, is that it? That's all I had to do? Oh my god. Are you serious? <laughs> Why, if it isn't mother, I'm not Apologize for not contacting you sooner during these long years. Having never forgotten you, I, Yomugami, God of Restoration, have eagerly awaited this day when we could meet again. Again, meet. While you were away, the 13 spirits of the brush that you once possessed, including myself, have been scattered across the land of men and now lie in disarray. I managed to, I became a constellation and managed to survive until the time has come for you to seek out and reunite all the techniques. Your power is what is needed to restore the dried riverbed of the heavens and renew the flow of stardust. Wow, that was Yomigami, the god of rejuvenation. Oh gosh, oops. How mean you're as good as the brush as yours truly? <laughs> that only took a few tries though. Achievement unlocked, Yomigami. Yeah, that was an achievement. You saw how hard that was? That didn't make any sense. Okay. It... Yeah, 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 yeah. Wait, I want to drawing some stardust to get the river flowing again. It's one thing to fix a bridge with fixing a starry river. There's no way you could pull off a stone like that. What are they talking about? Stardust. Where? How do you draw it? Oh, so we can just pull it up, off, whenever? What are you supposed to do? Is that it? Oh, oh it works! Oh, that's cool. You can just draw? Oh man, that's really cool. Did I do it right? LOL <laughs> Astral Food So we can be revived. I guess when it runs out, it's game over. <laughs> I'm liking it so far.
dumplings. Shrine here. Oh, yeah. Let's revive him. Always places are actually. Swords are in really bad shape. Whoa, Nagi is huge. Can we fix it? Got him. <laughs> cool. <laughs> How'd you get so good? Exactly who are you anyway? I'm Batman. Alright, so we just connect the dots, right? I don't know. Wait, what did I do again? Is this it? Yeah, that was it. Okay. I think. No? Oh, I... Oh. I was never a good artist. What? Wait, did I get it? What the hell is this? Oh man, okay. I just have to fill in the missing... Well, well, well. If it isn't mother of my trust. It's been a long time. How do they make these, these the narration sound effects? It's, it's so weird, isn't it? <laughs> Only place I could hide was in this shrine dedicated to ancient heroes. If there is anything I can do to assist you in your endeavors, I'm at your service. Make good use of this sword as it was designed to conquer you. Whoa, how am I going to wield that? <laughs> that was a god, Tachigami. Master of the power slash technique. Wait a minute, if you're getting all these powers... And you're just like that Shiranui. The wolf that fought and died alongside the great Nagi. When Shiranui died, the wolf's power was split into the 13 brush gods. This is crazy. Shiranui and Nagi, it's just like the legend. Well, anyway, I've never seen this power slash technique myself. How about showing your stuff off on that boulder over here? That's a nice boulder. <laughs> Slicing in half, drawing a single one. What? I did that. What? Oh, you didn't want it vertical, huh? You wanted it horizontal. Hey, furball. I've made up my mind. Okay. Oh, 
There's no stopping me once I've made a decision. Oh, the fruit. Let's cut down the fruit. Right. Is that it? go down here? Guess not. Follow the arrow. Gotta slice it, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. One million IQ plays here. What the? Where are they coming from? Draw first. What? Okay. So you hit him and then slice him. Did that work? That didn't work. Okay, that's it. That was cool. Where that save station? Oh no. Racking them achieves though. Racking them up. Alright, where's that fruit? The village will be restored. I get it? What was that? Okay. Down there. Yeah. Oh yeah. You saw that wall jump? Pro. What? How are these jars back? Who keeps placing them here? Just for me. <laughs> I wonder what we're gonna spend that stuff on. Oh, here's a save. Alright. So we're going to end this episode here. Thank you so much for watching. It's a good game so far. Um, I'm enjoying it. Uh, we'll see you in the next episode.